Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Do you remember, and if you don't, you hear it now, when I uh, used to say at the beginning of this uh, Ukraine-Russia fight that um, when the Western countries started uh, uh, signal, uh, virtue signaling, and I said, you know, guys, you're going to shoot yourselves in the foot. I kept repeating that by imposing sanctions on Russia. Uh, there are other ways to uh, to make someone uh, you know change course, um, but nevertheless, and those were not tried the other options. So that's why I tried to avoid you know like oh they they tried no they didn't try, the one that they didn't try was the only the only legal document signed by Ukraine and uh, the the parties and was the Minsk agreement. So I said guys we're gonna get in trouble because these guys make the decisions for us. And we don't have, we didn't vote for that. We vote for them, but not, they can't have, they don't have a blank check to do whatever they want over there after we've, we've voted one time and then wait four years to vote again. And in those four years, they can do whatever they want. That's not, but if it's that, then, you know, that's mass democracy then for you and for me. Uh, it should have been a referendum done with every individual in the country because I said everybody was happy. When they say, oh, we're going to impose sanctions, yes, put flags of Ukraine and so on. Okay, that's very nice. But that reminded me of the First World War frenzy. When the First World War was announced in countries in Serbia, in Germany, in all countries, they were like, my God, the war, everybody was singing and walking towards, marching towards the front to fight the other ones. Why? They had so many things to solve by war. So that, and then what happened? How many people died for how many years? You know, so for eight years, for, eight, for four years, what, 14 to uh, 18. So they, they fought, uh, uh, you know, from 1914 to 1918. Uh, so all this, you know, reminded me of that when these guys, yes, let's impose, let's get Putin, let's get the Russians and so on. And now the inflation bites them. The economies are going down. The forecast for their economy is is tanking. The salaries, the incomes stay there. The prices rise. The energy prices rise for for gas, for electricity, for for oil, and so on. And now, as I stated about two months ago, guys, you're going to be start crying. You're going to be starting crying very soon that you don't want this, because the first little pinch that you get. Uh, the hurt, the pain, you're going to yell ah, because you're not used to this. But the Russians are, the Chinese are, the guys from the Eastern Europe are because they had uh, problems. They lived through this kind of scarcity. Here, great abundance, fantastic. I love it. But that creates a certain kind of uh, psycho uh, uh, psychology in humans. And you take that a little bit, you cut that, and it's already the end of the world. So versus the other psychology, when you don't have stuff, every little thing that comes to you is the, the entire world. So it's just a different way of seeing things. So here you go. Now we are, we are told by these leaders, after they made decisions for us, they're told that we should just, you know, tie our uh, uh, um, belts a little bit tighter because you're going to be some hard time uh, because of all this. And then they're going to point fingers, not at their decisions, not to their decision. They'll point finger at, fingers at coronavirus. They will point fingers at uh, Putin. They will uh, point fingers at the moon phase. They will do everything but say, hey, uh, we partly are to blame here too. No, no, because this is the uh, popularity contest that politicians have in a democracy. How popular you are based on how much, how beautiful, how suave you are. Yeah, obviously, I'm kind of disagreeing with this system, don't I? It could be tweaked here and there, and I have many options for that. Okay, and ideas, too. Um, the Insider, this article, by Catherine Nealon from May 17th, and this is the title. Bank of England boss warns about apocalyptic food price rises and urges workers to reflect before asking for higher wages. I will repeat that. We are workers, more or less. So he urges workers to reflect 
before asking for higher wages. No, I don't want to reflect. I want to get you out of that place because the situation I am in is because of your decisions, not mine. But I'm guilty too because I subscribe to all this. And I gave you the chance to do what you did without being able to control you or stop you. Hey, wait a second. Maybe I don't want that. Too late. He is vested as your representative out there. So he made decisions. So this gentleman who's Bank of England, he's not a, uh, you know, elected official or whatever, but he stays over there and tells us that, hey, you know, uh, workers, uh, you just uh, stay there and reflect before you ask. Really? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that's what he wants us to do. Reflect. No. Where would I reflect? When you're going to have a reflection on your income and your bonuses and your perks, yes, I'm okay with that. Until then, is that fair? Well, that's a discussable thing, you know, capitalism, socialism, and so on. We're going to have that some other time. So, Andrew Bailey cited the COVID pandemic and war in Ukraine as factors it could not have predicted. Let me get my violin and play for this guy a little bit here. The Bank of England boss issues a, issued a warning about apocalyptic food prices rises around the world. <laughs> yeah, he also suggested that workers should not ask for a pay raise. Can you, did you hear that? So this guy says, I suggest, I tell you, workers do not ask for a pay raise. So you want me to just lay down and die after I do the work for you? Or not die, but not be paid, maybe I work for free. How about that? Would that be patriotic enough for me? Unbelievable. The government of the Bank of, the Bank of England issued a stark warning of apocalyptic rise in the price food. We heard that already, while suggesting workers should not ask for a pay rise. Uh, Andrew Bailey told the MPs of the uh, Treasury Select Committee that a very big income shock from the increases in the global prices of goods would hit demand in the economy and push up employment. Difficulties in shipping out supplies from Ukraine due to Russia's invasion could hit world suppliers. Supplies of wheat and cooking oil, he added, Ukraine is a major produ producer of both and global wheat prices have already risen by 20% in the last six months. Question, answer, before these smart people and still even after, they were talking about imposing sanctions and doing this and this to Russia, for instance. Did they think about these things? This is going to happen? It's a possibility? Did we think ahead? Can we try to talk with this guy or those guys? No? Can we implement the Minsk agreements? Maybe they could avoid what's going on now? So all these things, you know, they thought about them and they let them slide just so this can happen or they didn't think about it which one is it you thought about it but you didn't do anything or you didn't think about it that means you're uh, not that uh, you know what i mean or you are very but you are a different kind you just okay well let let it see where it goes this is it this is it uh, you want to know how the how much the governor is is paid i want to know that too and i have a and a figure, he's paid, uh, this government who tells us not to ask for a pay raise, he is paid 570,000 pounds. So that's probably about 620,000 US dollars. So 575,000 uh, pounds a year, this guy. Well, he deserves it. That's why he's over there. He's very smart. The bank has previously warned the inflation in the UK could hit 10% by the autumn, well above the its 2% target. <laughs> These guys are just cuckoo. Oh my, uh, it's just unbelievable. Well, this is it. Uh, don't ask for a pay raise. He's paid the what? 575,000. You are paid how much you are. Do not ask for that because there's problems in the world created by him, him, her, them, and blah, 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 blah. So just go back, keep working, pay your taxes, be a good citizen, and uh, work for me, and I'm going to pay the same amount, and uh, we're going to go through this, man. We're going to go together through this. Hold hands, let's go. We're going to go through this. Oh, my God. They treat us 
like I think we deserve, most of us deserve, because we let them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.